Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. And in this video, I gotta try and keep it quiet because <laughs> at the time of recording this video, it's quite late where I am and we've got people sleeping, so I need to try and keep it quiet. But I thought I would do a quip a quip <laughs> a quick update with you on Harmony. As you can see, prices are falling. I can only imagine people panicking right now. So I thought I would do this for you guys just to help you understand what I think is going on in the market. If this sounds interesting to you, please drop a like. I'm too loud already, Jesus. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching and I'm gonna dive into this. But before I do so, I need to let you know I am not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on this market. So please always do your own research before investing any money. That being said, I can see what's happening with the price. And I can also see that Bitcoin took a little fall here and the rest of the market has sort of come down a little bit in price, you can see here. Now, again, I am not the best at doing technical analysis, but I'm good enough to know what I know and it helps me on my journey and I'm gonna share it with you. Now, you know, we all know that Harmony has had an absolute insane rip in the last month or two. Because if you've been watching my videos, you know this with the crazy voice that I come out with when I'm shocked at seeing it at like 16 pence. But let's be real, Harmony's having a little correction and this is perfectly normal with cryptocurrencies. And to f the thing is, right, if you're new to the cryptocurrency space, you know, you're buying these coins and you see this like 10% drop, you start to panic. But for me, you know, and other people that have been in the game for a while, we are used to these kind of fluctuations in the cryptocurrency space. So I'm going to show you a few charts and hopefully help you understand what's going on. Now, this chart I'm going to show you may <laughs> be weird to you at first, but I'm really going to break it down and help you understand. This is called the Fib Zia. You can get this up as well if you'd like. It's really powerful when it comes to looking at coins and trying to figure out what's going on with the price right and this is on the four hourly chart i'm using trading view tradingview.com you can grab this up and use this if you like okay i just want to show you what this does because i've color graded this and for me like when i look at this i can take a good look at what's happened in the past and you know really work out what's happening with harmony now if i really zoom in i'm just bringing it back a bit i just want to show you if i really really zoom in with this fibsia look my bloody computer's freezing up now let's not let me do what i want to do what's going on look it's not doing anything <laughs> Hold on a minute, guys. I need to figure this one out. Why is it doing this? Messing me up. Okay. <laughs> I think I fixed it. Um, but yeah, let's just... Do, I don't like cutting my videos. I usually like keeping it raw, but I had to in this one because <laughs> it took a while to load. Look, I don't know if this is going to keep doing it, but I need to show you. When you look back in the past, right, you can see that... And I'm going to zoom it in, right? This is not too far away. This was the last price that I was looking at for Harmony. You can see that it's come down and it's always gone as... Well... These these uh, colors have been sig signaled for me like to tell me when a good time to buy or good time to sell. Now, when you're in a bull market, the lower it comes in these colors is always a sig is always for me signaled a good time to be buying harmony, right? And you know, if it's ever in the green, usually it spikes out of the green and it comes back down into the green for a little period. And in the ca in this case, you can see it again. And this back here, where was this? What, what month was this? Look down here, guys. Back here, the month was February, right? So you know, it came up out of the green and then we had a cool period. This is February the twenty first, right? No, sorry. Yeah, February, no, February the 14th. <laughs> Look at that 21st, that's 20, 2021. And then it had a cool down period. Now, it went as low as this yellow bracket, right? In a bear market, if it ever breaks this yellow bracket or this yellow border area and it comes into this sort of dark purpley and then goes into the red, this yellow bit here was a, is usually a great signal to be selling your coins. But this has held incredible support bounced off the yellow and then came back up and obviously bounced off the orange see it came down bounced off the orange and came back up and as you can see from where we are today it's been strong and held significant support now let's just zoom in and see what's happening with happening with the fib zia right remember that fib zia you can grab this up yourself i'm bringing this in again this is on the four hourly time right because sometimes it's good to see what's happening on the four hourly so take a look at this this is recent you know recent stuff that we've been seeing this is where it called 16 pence 20 we're saying 21 cents there but 
and just to show you as well so you can see what i'm looking at oh wrong thing <laughs> i get mixed up with the fm button and the aot button right because i want to try and show you the high here this was around 16 pence i'm sure and, and in dollars it's saying 22 cents right that was its high and it peaked out of this green same as it did here and then obviously um it's been coming down for correction this to me looks healthy now let me really zoom in so we can see what's happening right here because it's bounced off of the green area and the, the dark green area and if you look at this candle right these are candles when for, for new people now because people that are obviously are into crypto and stuff and trading they understand this but just new people i'm really trying to keep it super simple when it comes into this green area you can see that it's gone red we've got red candles and it's it's actually shown a, a, like a long wick this wick represents buy power people have been buying up so it's come off this green uh, area here at the bottom of it and then you see a huge wick which means people are buying this but what's going to happen in the future with this because there could be some extra downside now there may be a lot of you that have been <laughs> saying to yourself oh i really wish i bought harmony when it was lower because you're looking at a price now oh, 11 and before it was like 16 pence right and 14 pence and 13 pence and i'm sure a lot of you're gonna oh, i really wish i bought more <laughs> well guys this could be your opportunity to buy more that's all i'm saying take this as an opportunity to buy more uh let me grab this up because there's more that i want to show you let me just grab this chart here i've got different <laughs> web browsers up so i can show you let's take a look at this i've drawn a descending tri uh, triangle for harmony and i'm going to help you understand what a descending triangle is look at all this look <laughs> i just used the free charts look, up here harmony as you can see and this is on the daily chart right uh paired against tether which is usually like the standard now a descending triangle as you can see here usually represents a bearish signal right and just to show you what a descending triangle looks like i've actually got it up here so you can see so it looks like this it, it basically forms a triangle where the top part is coming at an angle and the bottom part is just a straight line across being held as support and obviously the the price pattern you know goes up and down in between that until it gets really really small and then it breaks out and it usually breaks down okay <laughs> i try to be serious in these ones like yeah do 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 <laughs> but yeah, what am i laughing for anyway <laughs> but you know because i'm trying to keep it real all right so when you see this pattern you can basically basically measure the top of the price from the inside this triangle to the bottom and that's this black line here if you're looking where the mouse is and then you can drag it underneath and then you can see what kind of price it could potentially hit so we could do that with harmony now so let's do this so you can see but and i'm going to explain this yellow line in a, in a second but first i want to show you that because to me it looks like it's broken out of this descending triangle now for me if this happens we could see extra downside to harmony and this does not scare me by the way have a look so from the top to bottom we can take this now and drag it under we could potentially be looking at a price of right down here uh you know 10 cents and in, dot, in in British pounds, I think it's like seven pence. We could potentially be seeing harmony come as low as this. And I'm just going to change this color because I want to put it as like a red, sort of like, you know, all like the lowest part it could potentially come. We could see prices fall this low. At the minute, it looks like it's holding some kind of support at the 21 day moving average, which is the yellow line that you can see. Those are who, uh, those are who, <laughs> I can't get my words out. I'm not even cutting either. Those are who knew watching my channel. For those who don't understand, price uh, charts and things like this i'm going to try and help you understand this moving average the, the, yellow, the yellow one the 20 day 21 day moving average you can see it here 21 right usually is very significant in charts and as you can see in the past right let's have a look at the past and this is harmony's chart over the last few months whenever it's been above the yellow line it's held significant support and it's bounced off it and you can see it here bouncing 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 it came just a bit low here but it broke back above and it's been bouncing and bouncing and bouncing across this line it's powerful because it works the same way usually when it's under it as well and as you can see here look if it's ever broke below this yellow line it's it, it can you know it bounces underneath it and you know it's constantly struggling trying to get back above <clears throat> bit of frog action there in my throat until it breaks back above again so you know i've been looking at this and right now it looks like it's holding support so just remember even though i said it can go as low as uh this 10 cents which is right down here it looks like it could be holding support now if it does then we could see 
more rises to come and this actually in turn makes sense to what's going on with the the other chart that i showed you this one here the fibzia because it looks like people could be buying it up here because they see this as a buying opportunity i just need to open your eyes to this because some people might be panicking going oh my god i need to sell my stuff quick because it's going down listen don't panic this is what my channel is about, trying to keep you calm, remain cool and focused so you know what you're doing. Because tell you what, I know what I'm doing on my channel and at home whilst I'm chilling watching my Netflix <laughs> at, at 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> I'm remaining calm and, you know, I'm pretty sure my patrons will be re remaining calm and you guys should be remaining calm because this for me is that opportunity for people to be buying harmony at a low price the prices that you wish you could have got it that is not financial advice i'm not telling you to do that i'm just letting you know what i what i believe right and i believe this could be a buying opportunity because again we're not going to have much chances to come in the future to be buying harmony cheap that's what i think anyway so you know going forward on this chart right because i've got an, a purple line this purple line is called the 50 day moving average and the reason i brought it up is because if for any reason harmony was to break at the 21 day which is the powerful one that bounces off it all the time the next holding support for it would be the 50 day and look at this it it's like it's mad it's like it's almost to the t because i said if it falls down out of this triangle wedge and it measured out just to be bouncing at the top of this 50 you can see it here it looks like it could be holding support just around at the 50 day moving average this is what i'm watching because you best believe and, I, and i'm so sure on this i believe right if it falls down to the 50 day Oh my God, I believe you are going to see a lot of people buying Harmony cheap because 10 pence is a lot cheaper than 20, sorry, 10 cents is a lot cheaper than 21 cents. That's half the price. And you know, it's very normal for people to be uh, buying things this cheap. Look, let me just show you something. Let me just show you something. Another thing I want to show you is this, the measuring tool. When we look at cryptocurrencies, right? You know, if you keep having this parabolic move, like I said here, oh, let me zoom, trying to <laughs> trying to scroll down. Here we go. If you keep having a parabolic move with any crypto, it doesn't matter which crypto coin it is, it can even be Bitcoin, and it just shoots straight up and it never ever comes down for support. It just keeps going up off my bloody laptop <laughs> into my kitchen, <laughs> in the drawers, <laughs> then or in yeah in the cupboards. Then you know you're gonna have a very unstable coin, which could eventually fall back down even harder. Now, looking at this, this looks like a healthy correction. And I can show you this because I'm just looking at this chart here. I'll grab the measuring tool. Let's measure it from the top to the bottom, right? It, at the moment, as it stands, at the moment, it's had around a 35% uh, uh, correction. That's quite healthy in the, the crypto industry, you know. If it was to come down to this purple line, which is the 50-day moving average, and this is where it's tar my target price is, based on it breaking out of this descending triangle here you saw the white line if it comes down to there you're looking at a 54 percent correction very normal and very healthy in this cryptocurrency space anyway you can take this information how you want i'm just trying to help you thought you might want to see it because i can <laughs> imagine people panicking and stuff i'm looking at this area here 10 cents because if it goes down to there and it puts it at, at seven pence you best believe I will be buying more and I will be letting my patrons know when I'm buying more and if you don't want to miss these opportunities you're welcome to become a patron bit of silence there <laughs> as I like to do anyway I'm gonna leave it here just wanted to update you with that I hope it was helpful to someone if it was please drop that like give me a subscribe if you're new watching hear that huskiness in my voice I'm just like chilled out today <laughs> just tired now because like 12 at night one o'clock one o'clock at night what are doing videos at like this for Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm going to upload this right away as well because I ain't waiting for tomorrow. This needs to be done now. So I'm going to upload this as soon as I can. It's one o'clock, guys. So I'm going to see how long it takes me to edit and upload. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. You know what? Patrons, I apologize. I haven't got my phone on me. And you best believe I can't be doing shout outs this crazy uh, hours at night as well. So uh, unless I'm on my own, of course, but I'm not on my own. So yeah, thank you all for being a, 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 a I was going to say subscriber. Or more, a pitch, um, <laughs> I'm not even cutting it. I was going to say a Patreon, but then I went up a chair. Thank you for being a Patreon of mine. You know I don't cut nothing. I just keep it raw, fresh, and organic like Asda's <laughs> or Tesco's or Walmart, wherever you live in the country, uh, in the world. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. What am I laughing for? Anyway, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. My voice is proper husky, isn't it? Yeah, what's going on, babes? <laughs> Imagine me talking to... Hey, what's going on, babes? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm just chilling, man. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> okay, guys. Cheers.